The plan has been put into play, and the weapons are locked and loaded in your living rooms. In today's society, people are getting more and more engaged with modern media. Television, cinema, video games, music, the internet. Through these tools, they are feeding your subconscious with mass amount of information, transforming you into the kind of person they want. They are teaching you their definitions of right and wrong, morals and values, forcing you to accept that the way the world is running is the only correct way. The media plays a significant role in providing the basis to determine a person's view of the world. So it is only logical that any one group that is in control of the major media outlets worldwide are in effect in control of the beliefs, ideas, and values of the individuals tuned in, and thus in control of the world. And it is this fact that the Illuminati are exploiting. They are using the entertainment industry to condition the people into their way of thinking. The goal is simple. To repeat the same form of information, whether directly or subliminally, until you believe that these are your own unique ideas, when in fact it is just a result of their conditioning. The proof? Ask yourself, who is currently running the media in most of the world? If you do the research, you will find it is the same type of minority that survives within secret societies, Zionists, Luciferians, Freemasons. They own and run the mainstream media and entertainment industries for the sole purpose of conditioning you through mind control. Did you think it was just a coincidence that this group of people have found a way to own the media in all its forms? Not at all. Especially when you come to the realization that their survival depends on you being brainwashed into their way of thinking. Can a free-thinking society allow themselves to be ruled by tyrants Never. So in effect, they have carried out a well-devised sinister plan to spread corruption among society. Because when a society becomes corrupt and lost, it becomes easy to control. Why? Because one who stands for nothing will fall for anything. And that is the society they are building for the arrival of the Antichrist. They grab your children first, invite them into a world of innocence, then slowly transform that world into the type that fits them, and in effect, they transform your children as well. The evolution of the stars or idols of the media should be clear enough to show you how they are raising your children as they grow up. Pure entertainment, right? Let's take a trip in the memory lane and see what we were exposed to as children.
these are only the obvious images. But what about the subliminal? How have they attacked your children's subconscious? The artists behind some of our most beloved animated films begin with drawing a sexual image and then concealing it with the rest of the artwork in order to create some of the characters your children love today. This in effect activates the child's sexuality at a very early age. The origin of this psychological warfare started in Nazi Germany, which they called World View Warfare, to condition their people into supporting the Nazi regime. The Americans picked up on this idea since it worked so effectively with the Nazis and have been using it ever since. They have raised a generation of sex-hungry slaves. Could be the father of this child. Cause he sleeps. I heard she slept with 19 guys around Monday. 19, 19, 19. 19. In the case of seven-month-old Jeremiah, Anthony, you are not.